That's the million dollar question. Um, if you ask a hundred different people why they're afraid of spiders, they'll give you a hundred different answers. If you ask psychologists, they'll give you all different answers. Um, probably that's because for different people it is different things. Um, and what it is frightens people about spiders as well. For some it's the size, for some it's the hairiness, the colour, the movement. Um, we'll have a discussion in the course actually about the origin of phobias in general as well as spider ones, whether part of it is learned. You know, you've watched your mother standing up on a stool going, ah, there's a spider. Um, you know, we certainly learn as children what to be frightened of and what not to be, so there may be a part of that. Um, but if it was learned, it would probably be easier to unlearn. So there's probably something unconscious going on as well, perhaps something with the, the older parts of the brain where there's kind of some built-in fear response which is going off inappropriately. amazing where you find out about phobias and it's a fear of a phobia is an extreme, irrational fear. For some people, beyond the word of fear, uh, it is sheer terror for some people. Other people, it might just be a great fear, but they can sort of cope. So you'll get, for example, people that are absolutely terrified and can't even look at a picture. Um, others are able to sort of, as long as they withdraw from the dreaded object, they can cope. But it is basically an irrational fear which does not correspond to common sense. The other type of animal phobia is about a sort of warning sign and then it sort of ratchets up. Um, the predatory movement of a spider, which is so frequently what people mention, uh, ha tricks off something in the memory box in our brains, namely the amygdala, which is sort of deals with trusts and fears, trips something off for some people that reminds them of something terrible. It's, it's definitely fear, terror, really, um, even though I know it's irrational, but it's just... And, and also a bit of embarrassment, because I know that it's, it's um, probably a silly fear, but I can't help it. The cold, autophobia, phobia about cars? Could be, but in this case, it's about phobia about yourself. I have to leave the room, make sure someone got rid of it, because I couldn't be in the room with a spider. I don't know, it's just the way they are, the way they look, the way they crawl, you know, it could go on you. Give yourself consent. Wherever you are, whoever you're with, to travel so that the fear of travel... Yeah, these are just empty skeletons, that's from uh, Stick Insects. So, I mean, this may, it probably wasn't, but it could have been from the same individual, so it took that one off and then it you know, took them several times off. I'll show you the fangs, they're going to flick the hairs off the back. If you ignore all of that and they feel really, really threatened, then they might bite, but it's, it's unusual. I didn't think I'd even be able to hold the tarantula skeleton, so, but it still feels very lifelike, and so I was quite proud of myself for doing that. And uh, that's the, the spiders in the boxes are the closest I've been to one voluntarily <laughs> for a long time. Yeah, I was out last night, 11 o'clock last night with my torch looking in the shed trying to find some yeah, the biggest ones I could. It's mad. I can't believe I did that. I was, I was like, there was only like a thin piece of glass separating me from it. But didn't really 
my heart rate didn't rise or anything like that. It was quite easy, it was relaxed. It's made a massive difference doing this little course, yeah. I usually get some more, but I mean, yeah, pick up anything you want. Um, once they're adults, they they.